One of the world's top economists has described China's new reform plan as gradual and very positive. Peter Petrie from the American Peterson Institute for International Economics tells China View he anticipates the country will embark on financial reform, including boosting the private sector. Let's find out more. Peter Petrie sat down with China View to give his in-depth analysis of China's new reform plan, and he says one thing which is clear is China's determination to give the market a decisive role. The document uh, was.、Uh, Very general and、uh, touched on many points, but didn't have too many specific points in it. But you know, having said that,、uh, it's very clear that the document was focused on reform,、uh, and that、uh, the importance of the market economy was very clear.、Uh, the private sector, I think,、uh, was clear as a as a as an important、uh, source of growth. So、uh, the kind of basic directions、uh, were not disappointing. Petrie says the secret to China's economic success has been its pragmatism, and it's this which is the defining factor in the newly released reform plan. Pragmatism of、uh, trying to figure out, given the constraints that are in place at a given time, how to move the economy forward.、And、it has many different forms. It's it's gradualism. It's not trying to do huge reforms, but trying to do reforms step by step, and then. Taking experiments that work and and scale them up to the to the size of the whole economy. China's ruling party approved comprehensively deepening reforms at the close of its four-day meeting on Tuesday, vowing to execute plans by 2020. But having a a, a, a timeline,、uh, having a target, is is helpful.、Uh, for example, being able to say、uh, if if the People's Bank of China. Uh, would want to say that that by 2020 the RMB will be convertible. Petrie says the new round of reforms targets redressing imbalances in China's domestic and export markets. China has to take on new industries,、uh, take on the issue of domestic、uh, demand on how to build domestic consumption and how to turn its、uh, production、uh, towards serving domestic uh, uh, markets. China's economic vulnerability has been linked to its reliance on exports and investments, with domestic consumption only a small portion of its GDP. But Petrie insists maintaining investment is still important. You cannot, in the long run, drive an economy with demand. In the long run, you have to drive an economy with productivity, with investment,、uh, with entrepreneurship. He says the policymakers, given the task of increasing domestic consumption, know private sector growth is crucial. Promote the private sector to will gradually equalize the competition between the private sector and the state-owned enterprises.、Uh, that it will open up the financial system,、uh, make it more open both、uh, within China but also possibly to foreign、uh, competition.、It、will emphasize experiments like the Shanghai Free Trade Zone. Petrie pins high hopes on Shanghai's pilot experiment for financial reform, expected to start in the coming months. The most important、uh, way to help the private enterprises is to free up the financial system,、uh, so that banks、uh, can be sometimes private.、Uh, there is more competition、uh, among financial institutions for funds. I mean, if you can liberalize the、uh, interest rate. And then liberalize exchange rate. Those are very big steps if one can do that. And the capital account is 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 you know is not far behind that. And he's confident Shanghai's experiment will quickly be applied nationwide. It's unlikely to be just limited to to one spot. If it looks like it's generating a lot of activity, good business activity for firms、uh, on. In the Shanghai Free Trade Zone, I'm sure other cities、uh, will want to copy it, and that the government will will gradually expand it to the to the country as a whole. The new plan vows to lower the investment threshold both for domestic and international ventures. Petrie believes it will make the relationship between China and the United States stronger. American investors are very interested in in the financial sector and other service sectors. For example, communicate telecommunications in. Some of the transport、uh, industries and freight uh, in in uh, uh, package delivery. Chances are, what that would involve is even more manufacturing products coming to the United States and even more services.
from the United States uh, going to China.